Xiaomi's BE3600 router has been very popular in China recently since it's super cheap and the hardware looks good. We got one over to test it out. If you're looking for a Wi-Fi 7 router, then it's probably your most affordable option. Without further ado, let's see what you will get for $37. If you want to experience this affordable Wi-Fi 7 router at the lowest price, check out Geek Wheels. It's on discounted sale. To be honest, the box is pretty simple and the accessories inside are pretty basic. A manual, a CAT 5E cable, and a power adapter. After all, for a router that's less than $40, you can't expect more than these. I'd like to complain about the design of the router more than accessories and packaging. The antenna cannot be folded, plus the ports are all on the back, which makes it impossible to put it on the floor or hang on the wall. It does take a less space to use it standing up though, but it's always inconvenient to have too less way to place it. The big Wi-Fi 7 engraved on the antenna also makes it look a bit cheap. All I can tell myself is that the looks don't matter as long as the performance is strong enough. The first time you boot up this router, you can activate it via Mi Home app. There's a part of the connection process that is only in Chinese. Don't worry, I've translated it into English so you can follow my steps to set it up and you will be able to activate the BE3600 without any problem. By the way, its web management page is in Chinese only, so you'd better use the app to control it as it can be set to English there. Even the BE3600 is cheap, it is still a Wi-Fi 7 router. In addition to the max data rate being an upgrade, there's a new feature that I think will become mainstream in the future, multi-link operation, or MLO for short. As we all know, a router transmits both 2.5G and 5G signals, and a cell phone can only connect to one or the other. If you get a new phone that supports Wi-Fi 7, you will be able to connect to both bands on the BE3600. It is different from the previous multi-band steering. It is truly transmitting data on both bands at the same time. I believe this feature should be the ultimate solution for signal strength and speed. By the way, all iPhones don't support Wi-Fi 7 yet, so iPhone users need to wait until the new iPhone support Wi-Fi 7. Maybe there will be a more worthwhile router at that time. On top of that, the BE3600 support the mesh for 10 Xiaomi routers and link aggregation as well. You can set up all the features of the router via the Mi Home app, which is very convenient for people like me who have a very large number of Xiaomi IoT devices. One thing that's a pity though is that none of the Chinese versions of the Wi-Fi 7 routers have the 6 GHz band at the moment due to China's policies. The band may be unblocked in the future, but as of right now, there's no way for the BE3600 to use this band either. Let's look at the hardware part of the router again. The four ports on the back are all WAN, LAN, 2-in-1 ports, with the far right port being a 2.5G port and the others being gigabit LAN ports. There's no USB port. Two of the four antennas are responsible for 2.5G and 5G. I put the CPU and other information on screen so you can check it out for yourselves. There's no way to root this router yet, so those who don't want to use the original Xiaomi system should consider another model. Now, let's test the signal performance. To be honest, the BE3600 5G signal performed worse than I expected. No, we have more devices in the office, meaning that there's more signal interference. Still, this result is at the bottom level of the routers we've tested. With a little distance and thicker walls in between, it didn't work steadily. So I'd recommend that you turn on the MLO feature or buy a few more and mesh group them. Otherwise, your villa might need a more expensive router instead of this one. While the BE3600 has some drawbacks, such as missing the 6G band, signal stability is also its weak point. But considering that it is a Wi-Fi 7 router that costs less than $40 and has a 2.5G port, I think it is still worthy of its price. I'm Wen from China. See you next time.